The Chickabee School Committee met tonight and we learned some new details about what happened today during a lockdown of three schools after reports of someone with a gun. Western Mass News reporter James Villalobos was the only local media member at that meeting and he joins us now in studio with more on what was discussed, James. Chris, we now know that there was never any gun at the Chicopee Academy and it ended up just being a stapler. Two students ages 16 and 19 were arrested as a result. And while it was a false alarm, school committee members say protocol was followed to a T today. This was the scene outside Chickabee Academy Wednesday morning after concerns of an armed person being on the campus. At a school committee meeting Wednesday night, Superintendent Richard Rage debriefed his colleagues on what exactly happened inside the school. He says that an employee, a cook inside the school to be specific, reported she saw two students with what appeared to be weapons. The superintendent says the staff member did. Did exactly what we trained our staff to do, which was to get to a phone very quickly, um, call it in, principal took a call, went immediately to lockdown. With the school resource officer on the campus, they immediately jumped into action. They were able to download the uh, camera uh, footage of that area. Uh, and looking at the camera, it appeared as if uh, they were possibly uh, pistols. Uh, and at that time, the uh, all call went out, and that's when we had full response from everybody, state police, local. After further investigation by all those agencies. As it turned out, there were no weapons. Uh, these were kids fooling around. They had taken staplers and unfolded the staplers so that they were long. They had them hid uh, in some type of cloth so that they could only see on the video the snub nose of the stapler. So it looked very much like uh, a gun and they were holding it as if it were a gun and they were going to shoot. But today, school officials are thankful that no one was harmed and everyone responded as needed. That's why we do as many drills as we do. And sometimes, you know, we get complaints from parents, well, geez, and another drill. And, and we say yes, because you, you want those drills to almost become muscle memory, where there's almost no thought involved. When they hear those words, they know exactly what they're expected to do. Public safety is our top priority when it comes to everybody. I'm talking about teachers, faculty, students, our first responders, and it was just so well handled, managed, and we're just thankful that it was just a training exercise. 19-year-old Carlos Correa Jr. has been charged with disturbance while carrying a dangerous weapon. We're told that a 16-year-old student will face similar charges. In the meantime, the school and police department will be holding their own briefing in the coming days. James Villalobos, Western Mass News.